Hi guys, uh, today I am going to be trying to I don't know, put a cable onto a, a fume extractor that I uh, rescued from the dustbin at work. Um, they've um, been having a clear out and quite a lot of the old equipment, which had nothing wrong with it, ended up in the bin, um, or wee bin. And A, I don't want to pay for it because I'm busy equipping my workshop and a um, perfectly good kit seems an awful waste to uh, to see it skipped and, um, yeah so I don't want to pay for it and uh, I don't want to see it go in, in landfill I think it's a hell of a waste of, of time and money um, so I've robbed this out of the bin I got it a bit too late where they've cut the power supply cable off so what I'm going to try and accomplish today is figure out how to get this thing apart and put a plug on it so off we trot So let's have a look. Got the on-off button at the top. It's got like a scoop for the extractor fan. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, it slides off. Looks like it's directional. That's no good to me right now. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm busy sorting my workshop out at the moment. It's a uh, shell, pretty much. I've started building the workbenches. There's no storage. And I'm getting my tools out of storage at the moment, so I'm all over the place. I don't know where half my stuff is, and the stuff I do know where it is is in quite a bad state. But as the time goes on, I'm sure I'll get it sorted. The grill seemed to come off quite easy. I'm hoping there's screws behind here. Oh! Bingo! Right, four standard star screws or Phillips heads. I can never tell the difference between them. If you know the difference between a star head and a Phillips head, don't cheat. Um, can you put it in the comments below? Because um, I like to be educated and um, I don't want to lead anyone astray when they come um, to my site and have a look. So I've got what I think are Phillips head screws here. I think Phillips head the ones are the ones that have like a an extra bit between the between the serrations. I could be wrong. This is not the most beautiful screw, it looks it's been cammed out a few times. But hey, that's what I've got. So let's get these out. <coughs> See now that screw oven doesn't feel great in there, so I'll try this one, which doesn't have the serrations. And I think if mem uh, I could be wrong, but I think these are the stars. And the ones with the serration in the middle, the uh, are, I want to call them splines, but those are, um, I think, the Phillips head screws. But I'm quite, quite happy to be corrected. That's one. Looks like it's captive. Two. Expecting this to be quite a simple task. Three. And the last one. Shakalaka. Put it to one side. Let's have a look inside. Oh, great. It looks like I'm going to be doing some soldering. Alright. So, neutral, which is blue in the UK seems to have some heat shrink on it going to this black wire and that's going through the switch at the top there at the top there coming out the other end and it's terminated straight through my brown wire and then your ground which is the green and yellow is on a ring terminal going straight to the side of the fan so let's get this old wire out Can I get these legs off? It might make life easier for me. Ooh. There we go. Okay. 
So, cable's been cut. Just pull it through. There we go. So, find out easily that the switch will come out. Brute force and ignorance. It looks like it's got a couple of tangs on it. Springy plastic bits. Okay, if I push those in, I'll be able to withdraw the plug, uh, the switch. I think first step though will be to just literally snip these wires to give me half a chance, a bit of freedom of movement. So I know I've got a pair of side cutters here somewhere. Bear with me. Let's have a look. Excuse the shaky shakies. So I'm going to cut here. I know they're not the best side cutters for the job, it's what I've got to hand. I'll get better, I promise. Okay, here. The direction I go through that switch doesn't really matter. All I'm doing is breaking. Yeah, all I'm doing is breaking my, um, my, my line so there's no polarity to it. And I'm just going to cut the ground as well. Right, so that's free. Let's get the. I'm loath to cut the the fans uh, uh, fan line. There's no need to, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave that, leave this wire in one piece, and just withdraw the switch. He says with some confidence. Okay, so here's my switch with the snipped wire. What I'll do is cut that back with with a Stanley knife or a box cutter. I don't know what they call them in the U.S. Desolder it to remove it. I shall cut that all the way back and not desolder it. I'll just cut it off and strip it. And this one, I don't have any ring terminals, I don't think, so I'll probably cut this back, strip it, and uh, heat shrink it as well. So, off we try. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is get a cable of something and just reuse that, but I have a habit when I'm throwing things away of just cutting the plug off and sticking it in the, in the, the drawer, and I just throw the rest of it away. Cables just take up too much space. So I've got a plug. I've also rescued a big old cable drum from work of a three core one millimeter where is it there it is three core one millimeter um y, y cable i reckon that'll do the trick i haven't looked at it yet don't know what color color code is inside it but i'm hoping it's a standard uk color code um i don't need the fan to go far so i'm only going to give it about a meter of cable, and uh, my version of a meter is from my armpit to my uh, to my fingertips. So it's probably closer to just over half a meter. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm quite quite technical. <laughs> okay, so I have snipped some wire, which yeah, it's probably just over half a meter. I'm now going to strip it back. I'm going to first try it with a pair of snips. I saw an electrician do this once and he did a really good job. So I'm going to try and press you by doing it this way. And then when I fail miserably, we'll pretend it never happened. And then I'll move on to a stemming knife. Okay, pretend it never happened. Move this out of the way. You know, those YouTube videos, they all look so easy to put together. You don't realise how much choreography is involved in putting cameras in the right place and not moving, not bumping the camera, knowing where the microphone is. Oh. Much easier just to do the job. <clears throat> what I need to do, I think, is make a stand for my camera so I can look down on the job and um, have a better control. Because uh, 
no, I don't like that colour. What was that? Black and black. Huh. Not a big fan of that. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Not in this case anyway. Um, <clears throat> I yeah, I'd like to be able to put something quite polished together um, rather than just throwing it together like I don't care. Because I'm hoping people learn things along the way. And especially if, if Bodget and Scarpa myself can get this job done. Uh, I'm pretty sure other people can do it. I just have a great interest in messing about with stuff and maybe fixing things. It just keeps me busy and keeps the black dog at bay. So I've stripped this one back not very far. Um, about an inch in old money, maybe a bit more, 30 millimeters. Um, that I'm going to use for the plug side. Now I needed a bit more than that on the other end, so I'll take twice that. Meetings. So about that much. So what I'm doing, I'm just scoring it slightly, and I'm bending the cut, or bending the wire to to break the cut, because what I don't want to do is accidentally cut through the insulation on each of the individual cores. So if I do that, I'm compromising it and we'll end up with short circuits and we'll let the angry pixies out, as uh, AV would call them, and uh, I don't want that. I'm also quite careful not to cut my fingers, because I keep telling my child to be careful and uh, if I cut myself, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. Right, that'll do. Where are we? There we are. Okay, that strip both ends. Like I said, I don't really care that much about polarity. In fact, I don't care at all. So, let's turn my soldering iron on. I hadn't intended on using it for this. I'm going to turn it to F in hot. Uh, it's on. It's on. Is it on? Don't look on. Try again. Yeah, it's on. Okay. So, soldering iron. Do I have a stand for it? This is all part of moving into a new workshop. Patience. <laughs> Okay, I have a stand, I don't have a sponge, because I don't know where the sponge is. Right, do I have solder? It's not solder, it's solder. That's not a soldering iron, it's a soldering iron. Look at how it's spelt. Okay, so I've got solder, got a soldering iron, I have a mess on my desk. Great, let's move this around a little bit. I'm not going to need much solder, let's put that away. Right, next, let's have a look. Here's the bad boy, but I'm not going to solder it here because then I'll have, I'll have struggles getting it back in. So let's get the cable fed through first. So it comes in at the bottom end. And it's going to come up. Let's say I'll feed it out through that hole in the top. Oh, now, I'm going to need some heat shrink as well. I wonder if I have any heat shrink. Oh, there's a handy dandy drawer. The, the OCD side of me created a, a heat shrink drawer, which is pretty cool. I'm not always that organized. I don't know if you can tell so far, but I've got some. Uh, no. I'll use the snips if they're sharp enough. And throw them on the floor. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a lot of heat shrink. Yeah, that much will do. One, two, uh, three. Okay, next is to let's strip these three back. I'm gonna try with the snips again. I have got a wire stripper somewhere. Uh, Oh, there's some nice snips down there as well. I say nice snips, I think these are the ones I got three with my printer, with my 3D printer. Uh, so, one. Oh, come on, I'll try and press the people at home. Aha! One. Two, three. Now I watched um, 
Marmaid Vince and um, saw him pick fixing a whole bunch of stuff of eBay and all that sounds like fun so I've gone and bought myself a, a broken Xbox 360, uh, no, 360 Xbox One I don't play console games very much, I'm an old fuddy duddy but um, it did sound like a challenge so I'm gonna get that in, I've paid for it uh, I'll pay £75 for it um, I'll try and fix it on the camera with a bunch of mistakes along the way oh what hilarity and fun will follow and then um, if I can fix it I'll put it on eBay and sell it again I don't care if I make a lot of money, it'd be nice if I did make any money but I'd like to break even because I can't sustain the hobby uh, if I don't actually make any money out of it so I'll not make money out of it if I don't uh, cover my costs, that's all time's free for me um, it's just my, my fun time at night but um, I don't have a never ending bank account keep asking them at work for a pay increase and they keep saying no. I asked the lady at work if I could have um, an extra zero on my salary and she put it on the wrong side of the decimal point. Oh well, okay, so uh, let's go back to the Stanley blade. Cut this insulation back. Um, you can see my cinematography is not great but if you have any pointers, if you do your own YouTube channel and you want to help me out uh, with some advice, more than happy to take it on. Um, I'll take any advice. I'm a newbie to the thing. I'm a newbie to a lot of things, but hey, I'm willing to have a try. Right, so all I'm doing is massacring this insulation right now. That's it, done. Okay. I'm going to desolder it quickly with my soldering iron, which I'm it's over there. Easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. That's desoldered. Get rid of that. So let's put some heat shrink on my wire. Let's tin it. This would be easier if I had a helping hand. Okay, so soldering on there. Solder. What I need is a third hand. Right. Okay. So. Right. Let's have a look. Cool. So I can get some right to the tip. That'll do. Okay. Let's have a look at my. Stay back, eat shrink. Don't shrink before your time. Just bang that fan in there, give me a bit extra wire to play with. Right. Right, we're cool. Okay. See how I'm going to do this. I think I've just bent a hole in the wall with the soldering iron. Oh, there's way too much. Did I lose that? Way too much there. Let's trim that back. Okay. Is this where I burn myself? I think I could do with a bit more solder on there. Put the shrink heat shrink on before I've soldered it. I've put the heat shrink on much early, like before I've even tinned it. Not because now's the time to put it on, but because I'm afraid that I'll forget it and it's, I don't want to have to desolder it again. So it's on. I'll just have to be careful. Careful is my middle name. Okay, so here's my switch. I wonder if this video is ever going to get made. Come on, I feel like I'm dancing with it. Haha, that looks promising. It 
So we're going to do this without melting everything except the solder. Let's have a leak. Let's have a look. That's not three bad, considering I did it. Oh, it looks a bit shoddy on that side though. Let's try again. Right. Never give up, never surrender. Okay. Okay, we've got some solder on there now. Let's uh, reheat it, stick the solder, the metal on, let it flow, and then stop. Okay, that's on. Right. Let's get some heat on it. I've got a hot air gun somewhere. The cheapest one I can find. What I'd like is one of those really I'd like one of those really cool uh, rework stations, but can't justify the cost at the moment. But if I manage to fix that Xbox, which would be pretty cool then I probably could justify the cost. Right. So this is the Hot Air Gun's maiden voyage. I bought it from Maplin just before it shut down. In fact, I think I bought it on the Maplin shutdown sales. I thought, I can use that one day with all that heat shrink that I've got in my specially marked drawer. There we go. Where are you? There you are. beans. Oh, this is fancy heat shrink. It's got like a glue liner in it. Nothing but the best for me, considering uh, I probably found this in the bin as well. Right, that's one end of the cable terminated to the switch. I think we'll do the other end now, which is internal. So we'll withdraw the cable an echo bit. What's that smoke coming from? What's that smoke all about? Oh dear. I don't see anything burning. Maybe it's just because it's made in a uh, voyage. Uh, something like lacquer burnt off. Let's put that to one side before I hurt myself. Right. This is going swimmingly. Okay, so. Pull my fan through. This would have been a lot easier for whoever it was that um, binned this had left the cable on for me to just use it. Good. Right, next. There's going to be just cable to cable. Where's the other cable? Door. Oh, I'll just cut that back and strip it. Cut it. Strip. Where's it going there? See how effortless that was, because dab hand well experienced. Right, that's on. Maybe a bit more solder. Do you think I need music in the background or anything? Or was it okay for me just to mumble my way through this? Hashtag just asking. Right, there's 
there's that one. Where's the other one? I'm still worried of where I left it. Smoke bloody everywhere. Okay. Uh, can you see? Yes, you can. Can I see? Not probably not. Okay, so let's get those two joined. Don't move, I was you. You were looking pretty good. Now it's hot. It's burning my fingers. Fan, give me wire. That looks pretty crap to me. Okay. When in doubt, add more solder. Yeah, so if I can't solder two wires together, there's going to be proper shenanigans when I get that Xbox. <laughs> Rest in peace, Xbox. Okay, so there we go. Let's pull this heat shrink up. Here, that this heat shrink is a mite too big for the application. It is a mite too big for the application. I thought I was so clever. So, what I'll do is I'm going to bang some insulation tape over top of it. Okay, insulation tape. I'm going to burn my workshop down. Right, um, but uh, on the serious side of that, I do have a smoke detector in the on the ceiling. So if it does, if the fire does start, at least someone will know about it. So we can call the fire brigade to put it out to rescue my crushed embers of the dreams that I've lost in the fire. Right, that's safer. The other one, it's not moving. It's fine. Now, on for the earth. In that pop the ping. Did you know that the word pop the ping is what the Welsh people well, well, it's microwave in Welsh. Pop the ping. They named the microwave after the sound it makes when it's finished. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much. Put this on before I forget. Not that it makes a much of a difference considering it's too big for the wire that I'm trying to heat shrink over. Is that a schoolboy? Schoolboy error? Yeah. Please don't be too rough with me in the comments section if anyone bothers to watch this video at all.
I know most scars could probably do this without helping hands, but I could do with some helping hands. I feel like I'm just chasing the wire around. Is there a better way of doing this? on. Let's shrink that down quickly and then I'm gonna put some insulation tape over top. I had to have an excuse to use the, heat, uh, the hot air gun, even if it did no good to the insulation. Uh, put some tape on top. Cool. Let's put this back together again. Somehow. I don't think I'm going to need the soldering iron again, so I'm going to turn it off before I burn myself. <coughs> or not. Oh, that'll do. Right. Anyone remember which way this went in? Air flow that way. Uh, okay, so that makes sense. Okay, this is on the top. Air flow that way. I'm assuming that it wants to suck the air away from me and out through the back. Just trying not to pinch any wires when you put this together. And also make sure none of the wires get stuck in the blades because uh, it would make a hell of a racket and then uh, probably chew through and cause all sorts of nasties. Okay. Does the fan? Is there anything else holding this? Uh, yeah, so the, the grill that holds it all together um, holds it all together, not just the grill on the front. Probably should have taken note when I was doing it. There's going to be shenanigans when I do that Xbox. Pissing it. You'll be missing out if you don't watch it. Where's a poker? Need a poker. Ha. Oh, this is my good old paint stirrer gen general poking stick. Paint stirrer, tin opener, prodder, it does everything. Right, let's get this lid back on. Where's that stubby screwdriver gone? Come on. There you go. Hot to trot. You seen that fella on uh, on YouTube? He's always setting himself on fire and blowing stuff up. Is that what people find entertaining? Was it the guy that knows what he's doing and doesn't blow himself up? What's better? I mean, it's a bit of a giggle, and people reshare when the guy hurts himself. Or he always knows hurts himself. But, but where's the? I mean, the, what AV says it's mental masturbation. He says, you know, um, it feels good when you're watching it, but you're not really gaining anything out of it. Oh, 
what a giggle we'll have if this doesn't switch on. And I've screwed it down because that's probably not the way to do it. I could have tested it before I closed it up. But I'm mindful that it's mains and I don't really want to hurt myself. I'm wondering whether I should get rid of that roller cable. Why would I need a three core cable with two black wires and a green and yellow? I'm sure there's going to be someone out there that wants it. You notice as well, if you go like, I don't know, Facebook or all those groups um, where you can do free to a good home, I like to give things away when I'm done with them rather than sell them. I just, uh, when I'm finished with it, I think it's lost all its value. So I don't want to throw it away because it's perfectly good, but I don't want it anymore. My problem is, whenever I give something away free to a good home, Nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, the person that uh, says, oh, I really want that, please help me out, um, doesn't come to collect it. So I'm sitting there, I don't know, with this thing sitting in my foyer or uh, just at the front door waiting for someone to collect it that never comes. And they don't even have the, the, the manners to say, I'm not going to be collecting that anymore. They just, uh, just don't come. And then you chase them and they're like, oh, no, I didn't want it. I, I decided I didn't need it in the end. Well, tell me. Have some manners. I've given it to you for free. The least you could have done was was tell me you weren't going to pick it up. Or pick it up. I don't mind either way, but at least have the franken beans to uh, to keep me updated. So, I'll tell you what, that's one of my frustrations. To the point where I've got this extra chair in, in my workshop that I, I rescued from the dustbin. I've cleaned it up. There's nothing wrong with it. It's faux uh, fo fo leather. And it's quite a nice chair, but I just don't need it. It's taking up too much space. So instead of putting it on the groups to say um, you can have it for free, I've now put I've listed it at ten pound because I know that someone that's actually um, that got a, something about them will ask for it. They'll say yes, I'll buy that for ten pound. I'll give it to them for free when they come to pick it up. I don't mind. I'm not in it to make money. You know, I found it in the bin. There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm not going to put it on for free because the nine times out of ten people just don't collect. I think this goes on this way. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's get... Oh, oh no! No! Oh, you don't say. Right. So, these bolty things go in those little holes. Uh, screwing into these nutty things, which are on the other side of this thing. So I'll probably fast forward through the section while I take it apart <laughs> and reassemble it. Wish me luck. Where's the other one? There it is. I used the screwdriver to undo those screws, not because um, I forgot that I had an electric screwdriver, but because I was trying to get stronger wrists. That's exactly what it is. I know a lot of people will accuse me of having pretty strong wrists already. Is that the articulation I should expect? Hmm. shits and giggles. Let's put this in the other way around and see what it does. Yeah, I really should have paid attention to the way it came apart. 
on the other side. Uh, yeah, I needed my own workshop. Um, historically, what I've done is set up in various rooms around the house and uh, made a mess. Uh, and I've outgrown the spaces that I've been using. I think my wife is probably uh, secretly quite pleased that I've decided to move outside from my train uh, from my my hobbies. Why is that not screwing on now? Come on, you. Is it easier if I do it on the side. Yeah, buddy. Phone came out anyway. All that effort for nothing. Okay, let's put this fan back in. Which way is front? There was a marker somewhere. Rotation airflow, so I want that that away. Try not to pinch the wires. So I'll go underneath. Yeah. Is it in? I don't know. Screw it down till it stops going. Ooh. In there like swimwear. In like flin. In like sin. Oh, I need my poker again. Let's poke this wire down. Okay. Tell you what, I'd love to be able to spin dits like old uh, AV. That guy can turn a phrase. I find myself trying to find reasons to say half the stuff he comes out with at work, um, but none of it's safe for work anyway. That's it. My favourite one, not recently, it's quite an old thing. He said, uh, if it doesn't work, just huck it in the fucking bucket. <laughs> Tickle me pink. Alright, I put it in the fucking bucket. Can't say that to the HR manager. Get in there. Boom! Boom! This is. I know why I bought this thing. It's amazing. All right, chicken dinner. Put that in that way because that's the bottom. Check set. Okay, so next, where's ah? Plug. Ah, oh, probably could use my electric screwdriver again. Eh? Okay. <laughs> oh. Now you could tell this has been wet before. And it's probably because I use use the air. I cut this off a heater for my fish tank. <coughs> Now, I used to be tempted to tin the wires that would go into these. I don't know why, it just sounded like the right thing to do. But um, you shouldn't tin any stranded wire that's going into a screw type terminal because it makes it brittle and doesn't flex as well as it should and uh, it'll end up breaking. So you're actually making it worse by uh, tinning it. So yeah, just strip it back, reinstate the braid and feed it into where you're going. That's the way to go. I need to get a wire stripper. Like I said, I don't really care about polarity here because it's a fan. 
Well, I suppose maybe I should care about polarity. What do you think? No, no, it's an AC fan. It shouldn't be necessary. It shouldn't be necessary. I'm saying that to convince myself more than to convince you. Okay, so. What I'm doing is making sure that I get the copper into that um, screw terminal and I don't have any scraggly hairs hanging out. Scraggly hairs end up causing scraggly shorts and I don't want that. I'll turn it nice and tight down. That's my other thing. You can tell I've done plugs before. <laughs> right, so we'll go on to the live one next. Oh, see solid. Come out. There we go. Can you tell I've done plugs before? You're probably thinking, who is this bozo? Does he not know how to wire a plug? Let's give myself some more slack. Slack, slack, slack. Now, if I cared a hell of a lot, I probably would have decided what fuse to put in this thing. I imagine it doesn't need to be 13 amps to run a fan. But, it's the fuse I've got, and I don't think I've any spares anyway, so I'm going to be blissfully ignorant. I'm just going to pretend that it's the right fuse. I'm not going to check, because if I do check, then I'm going to feel like I need to change it, and I don't want to need to change it. So. You're not going in. You got some explaining to do. Nah, there we go. Turns out I dropped my man in this card. I like to pop the pins out of the plug when I when I'm wiring a plug. It just gives me a bit of freedom of movement. I just make sure that they go into the right side of the pins. This one's okay. It's bi-directional. It's a uh, it's uh, symmetrical, but um, sometimes uh, they won't be symmetrical, and uh, you got to know which side the wire is going into on it. Right, so there we go. Last pin in. Make sure I don't pinch any more wires. Now the right way to do a plug is to make sure that your live wire, which is the one on that side, the brown one usually, is the shortest wire in the plug socket. So if someone pulls that wire out really hard, the live one comes loose first and secondly your neutral, but your earth should be your longest so that um, it's got a bit of slack on it so you're more protected, it's more likely to short circuit, um, short to earth and trip your switches. But that's not what I'm doing here by the looks of it. Okay, let's put a cover on it. I'm not going to pinch any wires on my... I reckon I'll be reet. The help of us staying in frame. Sorry, guys. Mind you, I doubt anyone's going to watch this. Why would you want to watch a video of some guy putting a plug on a fume extractor? Most people don't bother having a fume extractor. What, what benefit is it except to stop you breathing in healthy, uh, unhealthy carcinogens? I ask you with tears in my eyes. Uh, is there a plug socket around here? What's that one go to? Oh, heat, not oh, take on. Let's pull that. Is it taken? Whatever. Okay. Plug it in. Turn it on. Press the on button. Yeah. Yay! Now let's burn something to see if we can get rid of the smoke. Uh, are you on? Yes, you are. Now, if I still smoked, I would have lit up a cigarette to show you, but I quit that many minutes ago. In fact, I quit it about a year before my son was born, and uh, I made a deal with my wife. I said to her, listen, uh, I don't want to pay for your digital TV anymore. I think it's expensive, and uh, it just rots your brain. I'd rather you just spend time with me, read a book, 
go out, whatever. She said, well, I don't like you smoking. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll quit smoking if you quit digital TV. And she said, you're on. Now, I didn't think she'd stick with it. So here I am five years later and I'm still not smoking because we still don't have Sky TV. But yeah, look at that smoke. Boom. Can you see it in the video? I hope you can see it in the video. Magic. Right. So, I'm standing by for you to uh, give me some constructive help for this video. Um, last video, my comms, my, my vo vocals weren't that good. Um, I was just using um, the microphone from my, my camera. This time I've got a uh, cheap Chinese microphone going through like a phantom power amp thing. So I'm hoping it's a little bit better. But I'll try and get give these um, incremental improvements. So as you give me feedback, tell me where I should be improving, I'll try and improve them. But um, it all starts with people watching and giving me feedback. I don't want to be Joe Blogs on my own, not getting any feedback and not getting any watches. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Please, please, give me a comment. Give me three comments. Get excited. Get carried away. Let's do it. Um, and, um, yeah, see you next time. TTFN.